Well, folks, uh, the number of people that I can trust right now, I can count on one hand. And I probably have one or two left over. I know a lot of you, most of you know about this story about former Senator Linda Collins-Smith. And I was in the midst of doing a lot of investigation on this a couple days ago. And then yesterday, Angie was inundated with uh, calls. She was on the phone all day long with people um, claiming that they had inside knowledge of the death recordings, that their lives were in danger. Uh, people had been, these people had been on other interviews with other people. And uh, nothing could be substantiated. So we never, we never ran with the story. We did offer to interview one or two. That just never panned out. That happens to us a lot. You know, when it comes down to crunch time, people aren't uh, too desirable to get in front of the camera. Because we're going to ask questions. This story here has got me. I'm very frustrated today because I went on to a couple of sites that said uh, KATV Channel 7, that the family was going to speak out. They had a statement. And then I got this guy. I guess it's his, uh, her former secret, uh, press secretary. And I've got the, you know, I, re I really don't like politicians anymore. You know, it's a motley crew, folks. It's a motley crew. And let me tell you something. If, if you, first of all, my, all my respect to Senator Linda Collins. Because I know that she was for real. She was back all the way back to 2015 when I did the due diligence, she was cracking down on the Arkansas Department of Human Services. And I know that she was looking into human trafficking. I know that she was looking at uh, funding mishandling. And I do believe that she was working on things. But, you know, then stories came out about $27 million were missing and, and it's, uh, it's tied to the Clintons and another Clinton Foundation uh, type murder type thing, you know. Arkansas, uh, uh, you know, they were Arkansas, she was Arkansas. Listen, there's no proof of that. There is no proof of that. And it does not do any of us any good to just cast aspersions when we don't have proof. Again, what we do know is that she was genuine, I believe, from my research, and that she was investigating the Arkansas Department of Human Services. And she might have been investigating other things, and maybe perhaps the Clintons are involved. I don't know, but what I'm saying is that it does no good to start pointing fingers and putting stuff out there that cannot be proven. I mean, for God's sake... You know, Cappy, his name is, a, you know, this is part of the suicide with Cappy. And now I'm hearing that uh, there's uh, people that are doing interviews saying that, that Cappy's double is out there. Are, are you kidding me? This is a diversion for such a bigger thing that's about to happen here, folks. Have you noticed that maybe your internet and your cell phones have been... Uh, not very functional lately. Mine haven't. A lot of people have been saying the same thing. So what's going on there? Anyway, I'm getting, uh, I'm a bit discouraged today, folks, because even when I do speak out like this, maybe 500 people will hear it. This is important stuff. If nothing happens, if nothing comes of this, if there is no restitution, no justice from the death of Linda 
Senator Linda Collins, then it's game over, folks. It it really is because if there's not outrage, she was one of us. She was for us. And if nothing comes of this and it's just swept under the carpet for fear or indifference or whatever, it's game over. And they can and will do whatever they want. So I keep on seeing these posts on Facebook about KATV and the family's going to uh, make a statement and I, I get eight seconds and it, it cuts off, you know, and then I get this one about two, this, this one's a minute and a half or two minutes and two and a half minutes and it has nothing to do with the family making a statement. So y'all, if, if you've heard of the family statement or if they've done it please can you direct me to that link but you know I'm just tired of it like I don't trust anybody anymore folks uh, very few people and I see a clear division going on right now if you you know uh there's a lot. I, I also see a lot of people taking advantage of, of of fellow Christians. I really do, and their faith, and they're being gullible. Now I cannot, you know, I. It's not me to judge somebody's faith. I mean, that's a heart thing. That's deep in heart. You cannot judge anybody whether you know they've accepted Christ as their personal savior. But it does leave us vulnerable to deception. My friends, if you are a follower of Christ, you, we all need to be on our knees multiple times, every single day, crying out for protection and truth. Because we are in the end times. We are in the times of deception. We are in times right now that they will make you feel like you're going crazy. And you're not, folks. Please, just always remember. Use your common sense. And I don't know what the... the the complete answer here is, folks, is but uh, we all need to gather around in prayer, and maybe maybe we need to set up like a uh, a prayer schedule where we're all praying at a certain time every day around the world. And maybe I'd like to coordinate something like that. Anyway, folks, uh, pray for all of us. And pray for me that I continue having the strength and the will to, uh, to come on and report. I just haven't had it lately. Um, but it's in my heart to continue, and I need to. Uh, God bless you folks. Take care. Please, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, and let's talk about this together. Uh, another thing. One other thing. You know, if you'd like to talk to me or uh, or Angie, or uh, if you need help with prayers, or you have some suggestions, or you want to give us encouragement, you can give us a... Uh, Send us an email at ridrad at protonmail.com. And if you need to talk to us, uh, I'll give you my cell phone number if you send me an email. I mean, our doors are always open for people that need help. God bless you, folks. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.